Once upon a time, in a land of Hushabai, around about the wondrous days of yore, they came across a sort of box bound up with chains and locked with locks, and labeled, kindly do not touch, it's war. A decree was issued round about all with a flurry and a shout, and gaily colored mascots tripping lightly on a four. Don't fiddle with this deadly box, or break the chains, or pick the locks, and please, don't ever play about with war. The children understood. Children happened to be good, and were just as good around the time of yore. They didn't try to pick the locks or break into the deadly box. They never tried to play about with war. Mummies didn't either. Sisters, aunts, nor grannies neither. For they were quiet, sweet, and pretty in those wondrous days of yore. Well, very much the same as now, and not the ones to blame somehow for opening up the deadly box of war. But someone did. Someone battered in the lid and spilled the insides out across the floor. A sort of bouncy, bumpy ball made up of flags and guns and all the tears and horror in the death that goes with war. It bounced right out and it went bashing all about and bumping into everything in store. And what is sad and so unfair was that it didn't really care much who it bumped or why or what or for. It bumps the children mainly, and I'll tell you this quite plainly. It bumps them every day and more and more. It leaves them dead and hurt and crying, thousands of them sick and dying, because when it bumps, it's very, very sore. Now there is a way to stop the ball. It isn't very hard at all. All it takes is wisdom, and I'm absolutely sure that we could get it back into the box and bind the chains and lock the locks. But no one seems to want to help the children anymore. Well, that's the way it all appears, because it's been bouncing around for years and years, in spite of all the wisdom whiz since those wondrous days of yore, and the time they came across the box, bound up with chains and locked with locks, and labeled, kindly do not touch, it's war. <laughs>